How was the girl was talking was cracking it? Steve Boss reacts this Mori vid is titled Johnny Somali is being haunted by an entire country. Finally, justice is being served. <laughs> and I am here for it. Let's see what's happening with him and uh, what, what, what's going on with, with people hunting him as they should. Let's watch. Uh, so it uh, looks like Johnny Somali's back again with his old shenanigans in a totally different country this time, South Korea. And uh looks like he got his ass beat severely. Oh. Oh, that is the chasing him oh 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 they got him they got him oh. wow 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 so it's time to catch him back up with him. <laughs> buddy went to Japan, started talking shit, spamming Hiroshima, Nagasaki, trying to offend everybody in Japan. Ultimately got beat up, left the country, South and is Korean now in South Korea trying shit. to do the same shit. I mean, mm. at this point, it's clear as day that he has a fetish for getting jumped and beat up. I'm sorry. Maybe this freaky ass boy just like getting touched by other men. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're not happy. <laughs> So right there was Johnny Somali's friend and cameraman, I believe. Apparently both of them were getting jumped for talking shit and trying to disrespect Koreans, and rightfully so. Like, oh, I want to see what he said. <laughs> getting Give me the tea. And is now in South Korea trying to do the same shit. I mean, at this point, it's clear as day that he has a fetish for getting shit. jumped and beat up. I'm sorry. Maybe this freaky ass boy just like getting touched by other men. I don't know. They call him Nick. So right there was Johnny Somali's friend and cameraman, I believe. Apparently hey, both shoot. of them were getting jumped for talking shit and trying to disrespect Koreans, and rightfully so. Like, you can't just go to other people's country, disrespect them, dance everywhere, and act like a monkey, and expect not for the locals to eventually retaliate. <laughs> Oh, he ain't playing with you. He got tattoos. I love that action. Period. <laughs> this man had to bust out some English, but he said, Where your friend at? Like, bro, what? Like, you know it's bad when you got the local Koreans out here having to talk shit to you in English. Like, honestly, at this point, all of this is just well deserved. As I said in my previous video about Johnny Somali getting attacked by crime syndicates in Japan, it's a complete clown and an embarrassment to Americans, to Somalians, to the Muslim community, his parents, his friends. Like, nobody in their right mind wants to be associated with this man at this point. Then the following day, after this man escaped the grasps of death and got home and patched himself up, he thought he was safe. He thought everything was cool and he could go back on the street safely without getting touched but fortunately he was wrong why are you doing today they stuff you more talking Oh. <laughs> so yeah, I'm not entirely sure who was filming. Looks like this man was coming down from his Mine's hotel room with a random guy filming him from behind. But he was spatting some Korean shit. I don't speak Korean, so I don't know what he said. But we can clearly see that Johnny Somali had a big ass bandage over his eyebrow ridge. And uh, after talking shit to Johnny Somali in Korean, he shoved his ass straight to the ground. And it's just like, damn, this man is getting repeatedly bullied in public, jumped and pushed down and punched in the They're face by the people. They're retaliating. Now I mean, they my should. God, like, why would you not leave the country at that point? Clearly, you're not welcome there. Oh. Oh, he's stumbling. Oh, he beat your ass. He bleeding. Oh, we didn't get to see that part. Okay. Oh, they arrested him. He said it's worth it. Yeah, this man definitely got so his ass beat like, bro. It appears that the guy who was filming him is the okay. Korean dude over here getting handcuffed by the policeman for, I assume, assaulting Johnny. Now, I'm not entirely sure what Johnny Somali said to that man specifically, but based on the facial expression I'm seeing from the man getting arrested, he gives no fucks at all. He said this was well-deserved. I do not care. Try me so talking shit it. and I'll do it again. And now a lot of you are probably wondering, why are random-ass Korean 
Mexican people attacking Johnny Somali. And apparently Everybody it has something to do with the fact that he was blatantly disrespecting no. Korean monuments, symbols, and the culture itself. As reported by this article, they say on October Aside 9th, Ishmael, that. aka Johnny Somali, uploaded a video of himself kissing and twerking on the Statue of Peace in Seoul. Seoul, Korea, that is. And the Statue of Peace is a symbol of Korean comfort women. Women and girls who were forced into oh. sexual slavery by the Japanese army during colonial rule of Korea from 1910 to 1945. And in any case, there's that video of him twerking, kissing, and disrespecting that and very that's important he was statue disrespecting of and in Korea. He literally was using hand motions to symbolize that he was taking advantage of them him himself. So he deserves all of this. That is so disgusting. To show up to these people's country, be this heinous of a person, and think nobody gonna do nothing to you ever, you feel like, oh, I'm an Asian, I ain't gonna do nothing, they so nice. No. <laughs> Japan gave you a pass. Apparently, they, they couldn't get the job done. But in Seoul, they don't get the job done. Period. I stand with my, my fellow Koreans. Very disrespectful. <laughs> Japan hates this thing. Right here. Yeah, make sure to fucking show it. Japan right. hates this thing. Tell them why. Tell them why. Put it on over there. Japan hates this thing. I don't know if it's disrespect or something. I stand with the Korean people. Very close to you. Very close to I stand with the Korean people. I love Korea. And everything that I did in Japan was for the Korean and the Chinese people. See, if I'm Korean, at this point, I'm beating his ass too. Because how do you come to my country, come to my culture, disrespect my people, then go to one of the most iconic, prolific, and sensitive statues in our entire country that is supposed to highlight the history of Japanese people working our women and just stand by and watch you disrespect that monument, that statue, and do absolutely nothing. Like, this is legitimately the type of shit you can get killed for. This is a very sensitive part of Korean history. To this day, a lot of Koreans and Japanese people still have tension with each other. And apparently, Japan, although it's changed a lot within the last 40, 50 years or so, still refuses to acknowledge and apologize for the things that they did to Koreans from 1910 to 1945, according to Google. It was horrible what they did to that country. The other thing they does too. deliberately before Son Yozang and kissed the statue's lips asked, Am I going to be killed just because I danced with a metal statue? And then showed another statue that he may target. Such actions have infuriated many Koreans because the statue symbolizes all women, including girls, who were forced into sexual slavery by the Japanese military during World War II. Like, I don't know what the hell is going on, but it seems as though that Johnny Somali, despite the tension between Japanese people and Koreans, is somehow trying to bond and bring them together so that they can join forces and beat his ass all over Asia. And then furthermore, in the article, they say on October 17th, after that video, Johnny Somali reportedly was shown pouring instant noodles on a convenience store table after an employee he stopped him from drinking alcohol. Personally, I can't find that specific video, but here is a screenshot while he was in the store right, eating good. those noodles before being punched in the face by the store owner. Like, this man is getting punched by everybody, bro. <laughs> He's like a Ms. robot Rx, punching bag at this, this point. Sure. They also say Johnny was also previously confronted by Korean police for a disturbance at an amusement yeah, park, right, according right. to Korea Daily, when he announced his trip to South Korea in a now-deleted tweet where he said that he planned to slap the shit out of a BTS member for no reason. I mean, clearly this man is just a menace. Like, why would you say that, bro? Like, BTS is one of the most loved worldwide Korean boy bands. Cry, like, not, not the only way are you about to get the whole ass countries of Korea and Japan on your ass, but you really want to get the BTS fandom on it too? Good lord. Mance has been banned from Japan. Apparently, he's been banned from Jerusalem. I believe that's in Israel or some shit. And now he's about to get banned in Korea. Buddy, even according to recent reports, had to be arrested by Korean police officers for his own protection. Like, that's how scared they are for his life. Even a Korean guy from America had to come out with a public service announcement for Johnny Somali saying that Koreans are not to be fucked with. Yo, Johnny Somali, just know wherever you go, if there are Korean people, you're gonna watch your back. We're not to be fucked with. You fuck with us in LA, we go on the roofs and literally snipe you motherfuckers. You fuck with us in the motherland, you're fucking dead. Like, you gotta watch your back, I'm telling you. If you're in a 20 mile radius to where I live, be prepared to see, like straight up. And I'm saying this as an American. I'm a Korean American, right? But it's in my bones. When people f with Koreans, I intrinsically have this desire. <laughs> now I stand with the Korean people, but I'm not convinced. But cool. And there's no threat here. <laughs> Just letting you know with the wrong people. Okay, this is about to get funny real quick. <laughs> Let's fucking go. Yeah, so uh, it's not looking too good. But no, the, the Korean people in Seoul, though, they, they bought that action. 
and they showing us they bought that action. Shout out to my Koreans. Shout out to my Japanese people. I'm sorry you're having to go through this. Like nobody should have somebody like Johnny Tamali pulling up to your countries and just trying to disrespect you crazily online like this. Like That's yeah, sick. funny enough, you know he wouldn't try this shit in Somalia. They oh, justice has been served apparently. Okay, it's continuing to be served. They are not playing with this man as they shouldn't. You know, Japan let him do whatever they did there. And nobody really did anything, did they? I feel like somebody punched him, maybe. Uh, or was that in Israel? I can't remember. But yeah, in, in South Korea, they're not they're not playing these games with you. So he he should definitely go go home. Don't, don't come here. <laughs> go somewhere. He's annoying. Y'all let me know what y'all think though. Let me know what other videos you want to watch, and I'll see y'all the next time. Bye.